Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Skittle Kicks. I'm back. It's been a long time, I know, and I'm sure everybody's been anticipating some new content. Well, here it is. So, um, I've been kind of on hiatus for a while from recording, uh, though I've been in and out of different, uh, you know, worlds and things like that. But hey, I figured what the heck, kind of come back and do some stuff. Anyway, so we're wrapping off this JCB uh, front and back loader uh, truck. This is from the new DLC that they just released recently. And uh, I'm using my own flatbed trailer. And uh, yeah, so as you can see by the mileage, we got a long way to go. We got over 1,500 miles to drop this boy off. I believe I'm going to California with this one. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, hop in the truck and let's get started. Let's take the air brakes off, and let's go, go, go. Get the thing up to gear. Get up to speed. So anyway, I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, again, I know it's been a very, very long time since I've done any content. Um, a lot of it was just due to the fact that my health took a nosedive uh, not long ago. And... Uh, Sorry, if you're hearing that little bell, that's my alarm system that's going off for the house. So, yeah, I've got cameras. So, you'll hear that on occasion. Um, sorry about that. So professional, right? Anyway, so, yeah, I, um, I had been taking some time off. My health really went downhill, but I got better. You know, got some different uh, heart medication to clear out the, uh, the congestive heart failure, all that stuff. And um, I finally thought, well, it has been a long time since I've recorded anything. So maybe it was about time I started to get back in tra on track here and maybe throw some, uh, throw some content up. The only thing is, folks, it will take some time for these videos to upload, uh, mainly because uh, I have a very, very horrible internet connection. So, uh, yeah, and my driving is still kind of crap but you know that's the problem like when i play this game without being on microphone um i'm actually a lot better <laughs> so that is uh that is something that i still struggle with uh you know because i don't have a steering wheel i can't afford i cannot afford a steering wheel um you know they're 300 bucks for a good one so i don't have that kind of money uh next week the week of the 21st i am going to be out of town i am going on a trip to visit my brother and uh, his wife and uh, also going to be going down to Texas again to see my fiance. I've not seen her in a while. Not since uh, last September actually. So because I as some of you may or may not know I did um, I had to head back and I was I was in Texas for nearly a year and I wasn't able to find any decent work or place to live. Uh, when I did have a job, I just went south, as I've mentioned before, so wasn't too thrilled about it, but hey, why not? Anyway, um, this is the state of Nebraska, by the way, so this is the latest DLC state that uh, SCS released, and I gotta say it looks pretty cool. Um, I did do a little bit of driving in this state with my brother uh, not long ago, and because uh, I bought him the game, and... Uh, so, uh, he's got, now he's actually got all the states, uh, my good friend, uh, Dazzo helped him with the, some of the DLCs, and, uh, so he's all pretty much caught up with all, all the goodies and, um, all that, so he likes to play this game, he's, like, really addicted. Um, if you want to know the truck I'm driving, I am driving a W900 Kenworth, this is one of the original trucks I used to drive back in my early days of, uh, of ATS. Uh, I went back to it after driving about five or six different ones. To be honest, there's something about this truck that I love. Uh, it just sounds really cool. I'm running the uh, Cat uh, 615 King of the Hill uh, engine. I believe the transmission is the uh, what is it? The it's an 18 speed. I forget if it's the um, the RTLO. I have to go back and look at all my settings. But again, I'll probably post that at the uh, at the end of the video. We may go take a look at the settings I've used. Um, the paint 
I'm using. Surprisingly, I can actually bypass this. Usually I can't. Um, the paint I typically use um, is actually the metallic paint, which gives you three color options. You get a highlight, uh, a base color, and then you get like a mid-tone. And so when you look at the truck from the outside, you can see how it's blue here. If I go outside, you can kind of see how it's got that, but then it's got like a black fade. Kind of cool, huh? Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. And, uh, you know, I thought that was a, a pretty cool little feature uh, that I kind of tinkered around with. And uh, I've kind of upgraded all my trucks. I used to use the Freightliner Cascadia. I've used the, um, what was it, the LT? I forget what company that was. It might have been. Oh, I think it was the uh, Kenworth LT. I can't remember. I dumb, so I don't really know, but that's okay. God, what else? Um... What else am I running in this truck? Uh, just kind of a few little accessories here and there. Um, nothing too dramatic, you know. Um, this is just a fun truck to drive. I've gotten a little bit better at backing trucks up, so uh, I don't do the, uh, you know, kind of the simple or the, you know, I do the where, where do you want it parking nowadays because I've gotten a little bit better at it. Takes Still takes me a little bit of time because... You know, because I have to, I go, I go third person because I have smokestacks in the way. So if I look up my window to do a full backup, yeah, I can't see out of it. So I typically would just go into third person and just do it that way, and um, all that fun stuff. I did do the entire cruise in Nebraska um, event that uh, they did. It took me a little bit of time because some of the areas I kept repeating my uh, repeating, so I wasn't getting credit for it. I finally had to go through my World of Trucks log and found out, oh yeah, dum dum, uh, you duplicated some routes. And my brother actually caught this too. He actually looked at my profile and he's like, uh, yeah, dude, you actually went to these places twice. I'm like, well, crap. So I had to start all over again. And yeah, that kind of annoyed me. Anyway, so hopefully the recording will look good like i said i haven't done this in nearly a year in fact the last video i think updated was like a year ago so it's been a while folks um now as far as the channel is concerned i know i talked about coming back and i kept going back and forth what i was going to play um i may just start with american truck simulator and i'll probably end up bringing um stardew valley back because that was just updated a few months ago um with a uh, pretty major overhaul with a lot of things and there was some new dialogue added so I'll probably be starting a brand new profile and uh, if like I said if I do some civ work in McJevis RP then I will be recording that most likely in character because you know why not and hopefully, you know, you guys have a good time watching it. I won't record myself doing dispatch because, frankly, I've watched dispatching, and that's kind of boring. It's not compelling content. And, you know, maybe I'll do, like, highlight reels, maybe some shorts. I don't know. I mean, honestly, that probably will never get, you know, eyeballs on it, you know, frankly. So I'll probably just do civ stuff. Again, that all depends if my internet will not be spastic and say, you can't do you your you're here. Uh, do I keep going straight? Let's head to Cheyenne. Uh, no, I got to get over. No, no, I just follow this around. Okay. I was looking at my GPS right now and I was making sure I didn't miss my turn. I do that sometimes. I'll, I'll like get to these weird, you know, over under passages and I'll be like, okay, uh, which way do I go towards which way do I go? So anyway, hope you all are doing well. Uh, I wish guys, I wish I could stream. I know some people will ask, you know, why I don't again, it goes back to crap internet. I have no control over it. I really don't. There's only one company that serves this area and they refuse to build out. You know, they're given all this money by our government and they refuse to build out the rural areas. So I'm on 10 megabytes down, one megabyte up <laughs> on a very good day. And it's DSL. So it's like basically early 2000s internet. It's garbage. And I remember when I was streaming um, in Texas, 
you know, I had decent internet, but it was Wi-Fi. So it was always, you know, it was always disconnecting because it wasn't stable. Because Wi-Fi is not stable for uh, internet uh, streaming and all that. So I kind of had to put the kibosh on that, sadly. Plus, like I said, my health just kind of went like that and took a turd on me. But, you know, whatever. Um, so, but I've been trying to, you know, stay on top of things and trying to just figure out, was I going to have the the gumption to come back and you know start trucking again and doing some gaming again because you know i mean i kind of got burned out and bored to be honest you know and i'm results driven so when i wasn't seeing like anything good for my hard work i was like yeah this kind of sucks and uh so i just kind of said yeah to hades with it i was like yeah nah not gonna record but for whatever reason tonight i just kind of felt randomly like hey i'm gonna just record something maybe you guys will like it maybe you won't i don't know but anyway we'll see we shall see i'm gonna kick my lights on the rest of the way get my headlights on because it looks like it's about to rain so anyway um so the uh mcjevis rp server uh which starts uh tomorrow uh, for me, which is June, what is it, the 14th? I think it would be June 14th. I don't know. I can't math. But anyway, it's this weekend, so yeah. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. You know, it's a brand new group. And, uh, you know, if you know who Chris Broman is, you know, he's he's kind of a cool cat, pretty cool cat. Um, obviously, uh, Dazzo will be part of it. Um, so my buddy Dazzo... Uh, talk scott list you know who is uh part of the 1k frequency team if you guys don't know that of course that's the new podcast i'm part of uh we haven't recorded for a while we're still going to restore do some shows we have to do some episodes i haven't really promoted it lately on the channel because you know reasons um but yeah there's some cool stuff coming up with 1k frequency i'm executive producer over there and then uh toxic and uh dazzle are kind of like the you know the the talent <laughs> though i do i do have a lot of uh things i talk about too and it's a little bit different the 1k frequency thing is a little more than just gaming uh, we talk a lot more about like stuff that's going on um not deeply political or anything like that because that like who wants to watch that because we already get bombarded with that every single day so we try to be a little bit uh random and whatever and god do we get off the rails like we can so get off the rails let me tell you um, yeah, by the way, the one thing is I, I just realized I don't have a second monitor to, you know, kind of keep an eye on OBS. So hopefully OBS does not crash out of me or stop recording because, you know, derpiness is derp and all that junk. So hopefully it'll record uh, anyway. So, yeah. Um, so 1K Frequency, you know, is the new podcast. You know, Dazzle Nation was before that. And uh, that was put, uh, I was retired uh, uh, after a little bit. But we're going to bring some 1K frequency episodes back. Uh, it's just a matter of time, you know, because you know, everybody's been so busy with stuff. Uh, Dazzo has been inundated with a ton of work and um, as, uh, has, has Atlas. So we don't get to really do a whole lot in the terms of getting together and doing this. Plus, with the uh, McJavis RP coming up, um, you know, we have to kind of reschedule around that too because that'll be every other day once it gets rolling you know we've been trying to launch that thing for like the past couple of weeks but you know either the either the game breaks or freaking uh you know tx admin breaks you know because they do a stupid patch and uh so they break the system and uh, so i gotta pull in here and yeah listen to that jake break Listen to that puppy purr. Ask what I'm talking about. Anyway, so let's get down into some low gears here. Let's see, that's the center lane. Okay, yeah, so it's this lane's over here. And yeah, we gotta go over here. I can usually coast through this at about five miles an hour. Sometimes it won't trigger because it's kind of stupid. Oh, and it's got these dumb curves too, or curves around the scale, so that's great. Now let's get down to a, a good speed here, and let's see what she weighs. Try to roll in slow. There we go. 
four miles an hour, that should be enough to get this thing to trigger. Uh, 49,875 pounds, okay. So, roughly 80 tons. No, that's 20 tons. That's right, because it's double on the, yeah, okay. Math, <laughs> don't like it. Nope, I do not like math. So anyway, um, but yeah, I uh, uh, like I said, I wanted to kind of do some recording again. I've been, you know, watching a bunch of YouTubers and all that stuff. And I'm like, you know, maybe I'll get back into it and see what happens. You know, why not? Why not? Something clear. Yep. So you know, let me get some RPMs up here. Downship a little bit. Get those RPMs up, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. So, um, as some of you may remember, uh, I used to talk a lot about this awesome band called The Warning, and uh, I still love this band. I'm, you know, really interested in their, you know, how much they're growing as a band, and uh, they are releasing a brand new album. Uh, June 28th called Keep Me Fed. It is pretty awesome. They've already released uh, six of the of the 12 tracks, and um, I'm excited. I can't wait. I've already pre-ordered my CD. Uh, maybe getting a T-shirt finally. <laughs> so yeah, I won't go into ad nauseum uh, discussions about the warning because frankly, you guys can look the band up. Check them out yourself. Uh, check out their videos. Check out their live performances. They are so kick ass. It's just unbelievable. So, anyway, um, other than that, what else has been going on with me? Well, like I said, uh, once my health started to kick back up, I wasn't sure if I was ever going to record again, but I'm like, well, what the hell? Maybe somebody will find what I do interesting. You know, I'm just saying. I'm kind of, I'm kind of special in a special kind of way. Can you and I be friends? No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, we can't be friends. No, that's not possible. We cannot be friends. <laughs> um, but no, I just, I don't know. I, I think part of it is just motivation. Um, you know, when, um, you know, when you grind out so many videos, I mean, I've got over 300 videos and that's, you know, a lot of work to edit and you know plus I wasn't really sure if I was getting decent content onto you guys I didn't even know if the quality was good enough you know I didn't know if it was actually what I was doing was good enough but you know what I don't care if you guys like what I do fan damn tastic I approve and uh, by the way I have to give a huge shout out um, to uh, Chris Roman because the other day when I was um, watching one of his live streams, he you know he said everybody drop your uh, drop your YouTube channel links and uh, you know we we because uh, one of the things that he does is he tells people to go subscribe to everybody's and I gotta slow way down. Um, he says you know go subscribe because he used to do that. He used to like promote channels and things like that because you you know we want to really help the little guys out. You know because the little guys you know just get completely destroyed by the algorithm so um, so that's a huge thing is you know Chris like yeah drop your drop your link in the chat and so I've got like a bunch of new subscribers so I really really appreciate you all um, I really do so I think that's some of my motivation too is like to bring some content to you guys and just say hey guess what Skittle Kicks is back enjoy the randomness you know and one of the things I'm going to try to do is work hard at not being so ragey. I know some people like that stuff, but my heart can't take it. My heart doesn't like it. I got to bring it over because this truck is going to cut me off. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, if you do notice, by the way, I've got some of the I've got the uh, billboards, the real billboards here, and I've actually been editing uh, my own billboards into the game. So, of course, uh, it, at my headquarters in Dallas, I've got a big old Skittle Kicks Plays um, billboard up. I've got one for Toxic Atlas, uh, one for Dazzo, 
And um, I I have to create one for uh, the McJevis RP because you know that needs to be promoted too. Uh, so yeah, I probably should be going 10 miles faster. What is my problem? I'm going too slow. I need to punch it, Margaret. Come on. So anyway, uh, but yeah, the the thing the the fact that the billboards are a lot easier to add in this game than let's say GTA 5 because god that's a nightmare to try to add billboards in that game because you're dealing with uh you're not dealing with just an image file you're dealing with like LODs which are basically the loading distances and oh my god it sucks because you got like multiple levels of LODs and it's like it doesn't work all the time and sometimes it'll just pop into place like at a certain distance like no it looks like garbage oh my god it looks like garbage you know, so I get frustrated with that. And I'm like, yeah, I just over that. Uh, the one thing I will say is, um, even though I'm doing 5M, and I said I swore I was never going to install GTA 5 ever again. I was done with it. Yeah. Yeah, never say never. Um, the only thing that will not be coming back is Elvis PDFR. Uh, I'm bored of that game. I played it for years. It, it, you know, it's it was fun for a while to kind of come back to it, but I'm like, yeah, I'm done with it. I'm done with it. So, being part of 5M is a lot what I wanted to do, so I can actually interact with real people and actually have fun. And uh, you know, these people are people I know. They're friends. They're awesome. And uh, you should check them out, man. I'm telling you. Uh, I will actually put links to um, these folks' channels. Uh, in the description along with the link to the discord if you want to join up and be part of the McJevis RP server that'd be pretty awesome uh, just be forewarned we do have this thing called the brown box delivery system uh, this is a special delivery from Mayor McJevis himself uh, if you know anything about the McJevis character um, he likes to leave special presents inside of uh, police cruisers and they're kind of stinky I'm just saying so you kind of got to watch out for that brown box delivery um, yeah, you'll be, you'll be scrubbing your vehicle for a while. Let me tell you that, you know, he has no control. That is a, that looks almost like a, a wall cloud in front of me. Wow. <laughs> okay. That would be interesting if that was ever a thing where they actually start like saying, Hey, you can see tornadoes now. That would be interesting. Making a thing SCS. That would be pretty, uh, pretty legit. Let me tell you pretty scary too like if there's if, it, if we get more than just like rain we get actual hail <clears throat> that would be interesting although they probably won't do it because you know how would they model the damage when they've never done damage on these vehicles on these vehicles they just won't do it so eh, we'll see we'll see um so speaking of uh, scs i do know that the next couple of states have already been announced and then there what i understand is the the reason why the map has been so random in what they're choosing for states is um according to the ceo pavel it's because they're trying to do the route 66 um whole thing so it's all the states that connect to route 66 because for some reason that's like such a cool thing for them and so so you're not going to see south dakota north dakota for a long time minnesota and things like that. However, we know that Arkansas and Missouri are next in line. We also know that Iowa is is uh, going to be coming out soon, and Illinois is another one I've I've kind of uh, heard about um, through the uh, SCS forums. I mean, if you think about Route 66, you can kind of see what states they're going to actually have to do in order to connect that up. So that's why they skipped over like Louisiana and went right to Arkansas. So, I, I don't know if they're going to drop this year. Um, they'll probably, they probably would do one more, because I don't, I don't know if we'll get another map this year. Maybe, maybe fourth quarter. I don't know, because this, because Nebraska took a long time, because they also updated the game to 1.5. And that was a pretty major update, too. It was, you know, it was a whole, whole thing that they did, whole to do. So... Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's crazy. It's very crazy. So, anyway, I, I do have a question for 
all of you uh, watching this video. Do you want the video edited or do you want it to be just straight up raw, you know, no cuts, maybe, maybe a couple fades to, you know, kind of cue it up and things like that? Or do you want it like edited? Um, if I edit it, you know, I can do like 20 minute segments like I used to do. I could do 10 minute segments. I could chop it up really far down and do like five minute segments, you know, and really butcher the hell out of it, <laughs> which probably wouldn't be all that great. It'd give me content, uh, but it probably wouldn't be all that great, you know, cause you get into it and then you got to wet for another video, another video, another video. Yeah, that might get kind of boring. I don't know. But let me know in the comments below what you think, if I should actually chop these up, uh, you know, edit the heck out of them or whatever. I might just do it for the heck of it. I don't know. Because um, I've done both long format and I've also done, uh, you know, heavily edited. I don't really know what people really want to see. So I'll pose it to you, my fellow watchers of the YouTubes. Um, what else is going? I wonder who wrote the book of love. No, I'm just kidding. Um, man. So yeah, my trip is, uh, like I said, coming up next week. And uh, that'll be the week of the 21st. Living on a Friday in the early morning. And driving over 500 miles. And then, I got, and then the next day I gotta drive another 600 miles to go to Texas, so yay. <laughs> But uh, that's okay. I'm not. I don't drive straight through the country anymore. I did that one time. I did that. Actually, no. I did that twice. I went from uh, my home state of Minnesota to uh, Detroit, Michigan, a number of years ago, like back in 2009. And I went to um, Texas in 2011, straight through. 14-hour drive that turned into over a day. Because I, I, my vehicle broke down and I was shad. Actually, I was freaked out because it was hella hot in Oklahoma when I, when my vehicle really started giving me problems. Uh, lost two tires on that trip. Like, literally, one was a tread separation on the rear driver. And the other one was a front passenger tire that the sidewall failed and it looked like somebody took a knife to the sidewalls and cut two slashes in it. And that sucked. But that's what you call tire rot. That's why that happened. And I'll bet you I gotta slow down to 65. I bet you. Oh, no I don't. Look at that. 75 still. Cool. Don't even have to downshift. Um, what else? Uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm celebrating my, uh, the reason why I'm going to Texas is because I'm celebrating my fiance's birthday. And I want to spend some time with my girl and I miss her, you know, cause she's special. No, actually no, I legitimately do miss her a lot. Um, I've missed her quite a lot. Ooh, I better slow down. Ooh, I gotta slow way, way down. Yeah, this is, this is not good to start slowing down. Around the corner, oh, there we go. That's what happens. The I be a dumb dumb and then you smack your truck and then you say, show bitch. Shown bitch. We don't piss me off to smack that thing. Do you remember who that is, folks? That might be a guest appearing in McJevis RP. That's, that's damn right. You better check out that you better check out that McJevis RP. That's some pretty cool stuff. You know what I'm saying? So don't piss me off if uh, if you don't tune into that. So And hey, don't forget, don't forget about me. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm Jerome Mile. That's M-Y-L-E. And, uh, how y'all doing? Little tease there for you, ladies and gentlemen. A couple characters I might be bringing to the show. I don't know. And, uh, Burple. Burple might make an appearance at some point. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I need to punch it, Margaret. I'm going too slow. My car, my my truck does not handle when it's going that slow. I'm just saying. I am just saying. It just it's just too slow, man. If it's too slow,